An email conversation is a dialogue between two or more people. So, for example, I got this email from Carrie, New Ghost Investigation. When I reply to that, and then she replies to my reply, and I reply to her reply, we got this email conversation going about that subject. You can imagine that you may get other emails in between that conversation that may have that conversation broken up between several dozens, maybe hundreds of emails within the inbox. Well, to overcome that, if you want to find one particular point in the conversation to reply to without having to scroll to find the different conversations that are broken up through the inbox, you can instead go to the conversation view. And in that view, it'll display messages that share the same subject in a thread or that series of replies. So let's go ahead and light this candle so I can show you what the conversation will do and how powerful it can be to group everything in that conversation under one subject. Let's create our own conversation with Carrie. And I'll do that by double clicking a blank area to open up a new email message. And let me type in her email address, K, there we go, KH for K Heffernan. Hit the tab key, then hit the tab key several more times to get to the subject. And I'll type in hi, want to keep it simple. Hit the tab key and hi. How are you? Let's go ahead and send that off and have her reply to that. Okay, now let me come up here and click on send and receive to receive her response. And there you go, RE in regards or replying to my subject hi that I sent to her. Double click. Good, how are you? Okay, let's go ahead and reply to that and say good. And then click send and then I'll have her reply to that. Let me close out of that. Come back up here, click on send and receive. And then there's her reply. Same conversation, same subject. Hi, double click. Then we're all good. Okay, let's go ahead and click on reply. Oh, goody. And then click send. Now what I'm going to do here, let me close out of that, is instead of having her reply to that, well, in the same conversation, I'll have her send me an entirely new subject to break up the conversation and then have her reply back into the conversation of hi. So I can show you the power behind the conversation view when you have, well, when you have this conversation going and it's broken up by other email messages, how you can group it all under one. So let me go ahead and have her send an entirely new email message, well, different subject. And she's very fast. Let me click send and receive. And there we go. Ghost hunting invite at the amusement park dot dot dot. Well, if you hover over it, you get the pop up and it expands and it says Lagoon. Great. Okay, let me go ahead and have her now reply to my reply so she can come back into the conversation after this other email she sent me. And then I come up here, click on send and receive. And there we go. Double click. Oh, good gravy. Oh, I agree. Let's end this. Let's go ahead and close out. Now that we have it broken up, I can show you the conversation view, how it's going to take this conversation that has the same subject in a thread in a series of replies and group it into one. So I don't have to scroll throughout the inbox to be able to sort through all the different replies to be able to reply or respond at one point. But just go to one and be able to expand it to see the series of replies or keep it collapsed and just go to the latest here. But to have them grouped, come up here, click on the View tab, go to the Messages group, and check Shows Conversations. When you check it, it says, do you want to have this applied to all mailboxes or just this folder? Well, these are all other folders. They're not mailboxes. The only mailbox is the inbox. And what it means by that is that you can create a subfolder within the inbox so you can apply to the subfolders of the inbox. And since we haven't learned how to create additional folders, we'll do that in a later training video. But for right now, let's go ahead and keep it simple and say just this folder only. Now, when I do that, it's going to take this conversation and a series of replies regarding hi and group it under one. So click this folder, and there you go, only one, all the other highs have disappeared. So you can double click on this one to get the latest response in the conversation, which you could have done with the latest high, and not having to, you know, check shows conversations and group it. But you can also, as you can see when you hover over the little arrow there, latest message shown, expand to see previous, it's all there. Click on that little angle to expand and it's not scattered throughout the inbox and in addition to that you also get a copy of your replies that come over from the sent items. Do you remember in earlier training videos I talked about that every time you send an email off as an original email, a reply or a forward, it makes a copy of it, stores it over in the sent items. Well that's where it's coming from, that's where it's showing. 
So when I double click at the bottom here, okay, there's my first response. I mean, that's my original message. That's her reply, but that's my actual first response regarding her reply. Close out and then double click on carry. That's her initial reply. Good, how are you? And then I can come back to mine. Climbing up the ladder. Oh, goody. And then close out and all the other previous ones. Then double click. Then we're all good. And then the latest is going to be up at the top here. Double click on that. And that was from her, oh, good gravy. And close out. And then this one, well, you could double click on it, but you can't while it's expanded because if you do, it'll collapse it. So if I double click, it collapses it. But if I double click again, it's like double clicking underneath when it's expanded. That message, it's right underneath it, right below it to get the latest. So you can do that, but only if it's collapsed. And you do get conversation settings, the options here. You can click on the drop down arrow. By default, show messages from other folders, which was the sent items folder, and show senders above the subject. And then always expand selected conversation, which means, well, I collapsed it, but it's always expanded. I don't want to do that. And use classic indent and view. Uh, it doesn't look good to me, so I'll leave that alone. But that's up to you. It's your flavor. Let me go ahead and click off. And then, of course, to undo this, just uncheck it. And we just did it to this folder, so let's undo this from this folder and click this folder. And we're back to where we were, where our conversation is broken up by the ghost hunting invite. Now, if you take one of these and you delete it, throw it to the trash can, and you come back up here to show conversations again and to this folder. Let, okay, there's another conversation. And that brings up a good point. Some of these things you won't see unless you select it, and then you can expand it. If you can click on it, there you go. There's that mini conversation. So go ahead and select the line item and see if you get an arrow there because these aren't automatically popping up until you actually select it. In any case, go ahead and expand it. Click on it a few times if you can get right on there. And it's not including what I deleted into the garbage can because what gets thrown in there, not even Superman can look inside because it's surrounded by lead. In other words, Outlook is saying, what you throw in here, I'm not going to look in there. Even when it comes to searching throughout the entire Outlook program, for like a contact, a calendar. If it's in the garbage can, it's like, why would I look in there? You threw it in there. I don't want to waste time looking in there. But what you can do is you can go into the garbage can and you can search out. So if I select this one that we deleted from the conversation and I say, show as conversations, and I say this folder and I expand it. Let me click on it a couple of times. Oh, I got to get right on there. See, it shows everything. So when you're in the garbage can, It'll search out and search all the other folders that are within the mail folder here, as opposed to when you're on the outside in the inbox or any of the other folders but the garbage can, it won't search there. So let's go ahead and uncheck that and not apply it to this folder. Go back to our inbox. Oh, it's freaking out now and it reset my settings for the inbox. So let's go ahead and, well, let's uncheck this and not have it apply to this folder. And Okay, now we're back to where we were. And just before I did that, you notice how it was grouping the email messages by day, by week, by month. Well, that's a view setting that you can come up here and click on the view tab in the current view group, view settings. And you can click on group by and uncheck automatically group according to arrangement. And when you click OK there, I'm going to click cancel. It doesn't group it by day or what messages you received last week or last month and so on. And we'll talk about the view settings in a later training video. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.